Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and Ramadan Mubarak in advance. I'm filming this a few weeks before Ramadan to just get my house all prepped and ready. I'm gonna be deep cleaning a few areas in my house and I'm gonna be getting out my Ramadan decor and decorating a little bit later in today's video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And I just wanted to give a little, quick little message to you guys who were so sweet on my last video. I took like a week off YouTube and I just wanted to thank you guys for your sweet comments and like understanding of me taking a break i feel so much better but now it's time to get back to work i have like three hours until my daughter gets back home so let's go ahead and get this house under control first starting out with the kitchen i'm just putting away all the dishes that are clean and dry so i can get down and do a little bit more deep cleaning I try to deep clean my sink like once a week. It really just makes the biggest difference in how clean my kitchen feels. So I go ahead and just quickly um, scrub it down with some dish soap, but then to deep clean it, I add some baking soda and I sprinkle that around and let it sit for a little bit. And then I do a little scrub and it really just polishes everything and makes it look really like shiny and new again. No matter how many times I spray down and wipe our appliances, they will have fingerprints on them as soon as my daughter gets home. Um, it's so funny because my, my mom watches her a few days a week and Elena got fingerprints on one of her little cabinets that has glass on it and my mom didn't even want to wipe it down because she said she wanted to keep looking at her fingerprints like every day because it reminded her of Elena. It was so cute. It's not very often that I remove everything from the counters and wipe down underneath the Nespresso machine and the kettle and the knife block and all that stuff. So I'm just giving everything a good wipe down, wiping down our stove. Wiping down our stove is one of my least favorite things, I think because it's gas and there's just so many different parts that go along with it. It's just very tedious, but it's very necessary before Ramadan, before this is gonna be used a lot. I'm gonna be vacuuming and mopping everything, but I had to shout out this vacuum. It is seriously the most amazing dream vacuum. I did a video with Dyson last Ramadan, but I have just used and loved this vacuum so, so much over the past year. I just had to like share it again. Welcome to our conference table, our dining table, all kinds of work goes on at this table. So as you can see, there's lots of laptops and papers and cameras and SD cards and everything. So I am going to clean that all off because today we're gonna to be decorating for Ramadan. I'm gonna show you guys what my iftar dinner table and tablescape is gonna look like. So just wiping all of that down. It has been a very long time since I've moved the couches and vacuumed all underneath and really gotten in there. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm also actually going to be vacuuming the couches themselves. I don't think I've ever vacuumed the couches, which is a little bit embarrassing. I usually just like spot clean, but let me tell you, there was a lot of crumbs in these couches, so. One thing I will say though about our couches is that I'm glad that I did a light gray and this velvet material because they've been so easy to clean. The material I will say is great. The only thing though is that since all of the cushions are removable, they kind of get really like misshapen. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum those out just to get them their shape back. Now I'm taking my Swiffer duster and I'm gonna go ahead and dust all of our built-in shelves. I really wanna add a little bit of decor here to these shelves this year and just make it look a little bit more festive. I went ahead and washed all of our sheets, so I'm just putting them back on the bed. It's really nice to just start off the month of Ramadan with nice new, fresh, or not new, but actually these are kind of new. I just got a new set from Bowl and Branch. They're like organic and non-toxic, so I really, really like our new sheets. It's just nice to start off the month with a clean slate.
I'm gonna go ahead and take our prayer mats and throw them in the washing machine just so we have some nice, fresh, clean mats to start off the month. For laundry detergent, I like to use the seventh generation in lavender and to add more of a scent to my laundry, I like to add a tiny dash of laundry detergent to my fabric softener slot. I kind of made this hack up myself, so it may not be the correct thing to do, but I find that it makes your clothes just smell so much better. It kind of just looks like I was vacuuming a clean house on camera, but I started with an empty little canister and that was all of the dust that I picked up that day. I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface concentrate to mop my floors. You just add like a couple of capsules to a bucket of water and it makes your house smell so fresh. I love the basil scent. One thing that I've learned when it comes to cleaning is you always wanna start with the top and go to the bottom. So for example, you'd start with your cabinets and your shelves and then your countertops and then you would go and clean the floors at the end and this way you're not having to like re-clean the floors if you were to get dust or crumbs or anything. This may be self-explanatory to most people but maybe it wasn't for me whenever I was first learning about the best way to clean my house. And here's the after. I'm super happy to have gotten a lot of my cleaning done before Ramadan. That way I'm not having to worry about it when I'm so exhausted and fasting, especially at the beginning of the month. It's the next day. I finished cleaning yesterday and today we are going to decorate. I went ahead and got out all of my Ramadan decor that I've been collecting over the past few years. I have a couple new pieces to share too, so let me show you guys. Omar just let me know that this is, will probably be our last Ramadan decorating in this house, which I just never thought about it like that before. Like. That is so bittersweet. Obviously, this was our first home together. We brought Elena home here. We built like my business here and it's just so crazy to me. But then again, I'm so excited because there's definitely like things that I would love to be able to decorate that we don't have. Like we don't have a fireplace mantle or like a console table. And there's just like, you know, here I really can only decorate like our dining table. And this year I'm gonna try to decorate our built-in shelves. But anyways, I just never thought about it like that before. I got out all of my decor that I had from previous years. I have a couple new pieces. So let me start with kind of like, I guess the stuff that I already had. These candlesticks from Amazon. You guys remember my Alhamdulillah last sign that I used as a centerpiece last year. I'll probably use that again, honestly, because it's so beautiful. Everything will be linked down below as well. I had some um, lanterns from a couple years ago, but I also got some new lanterns. These are like a set of three with different sizes. You guys can see the different sizes. I just thought that was so pretty. I got those off Etsy. I just have some extra tea light candles and candlesticks, my fairy lights. This is actually new from Amazon. I got this like gauzy table runner that I thought was really elegant. I got this from Amazon as well recently. It's like a lamb's ear garland. My theme this year is gold, white, and greenery. I just thought it was like really fresh for spring. This tiered tray is new. It's from a brand called Maison Zedo. She reached out asking if I wanted anything and I fell in love with this tray. I thought it would be perfect for like snacks or desserts or anything and it's just so pretty. I also got this Salam sign from With A Spin, the same company that makes the, the Alhamdulillah sign. I thought this would be really pretty in our built-in shelves. With A Spin also does these really beautiful serving boards that are like moon shaped. This one has a really pretty like, I guess Moroccan pattern. They do these trays too, which this one I got new this year. I thought it was really pretty. And then I just got out our plates and some napkins just so I can like set the whole table and show you guys what the final result would look like. But to be honest, I'm probably not gonna keep this out all Ramadan. I'll probably just get it back out whenever we have company over or like a special dinner during Ramadan or maybe for Eid. Just like with Elena and obviously like we literally work here on this table like every single day. So I'll probably just have to put it up after we finish, but it'll still be fun to like see it all come together. I just absolutely love putting together tablescapes. To me, it's just so much fun. If you guys heard Elena, she's playing with Omar right now. Um, but the Alhamdulillah sign is such an amazing centerpiece. If you guys don't know what it means, it basically means praise be to God or thank God. It's just all about being grateful, which is, I mean, when you're sitting down eating at the table, that's something that we're definitely reminded of. It's just being grateful for our food, especially during Ramadan when, we, when we've been fasting all day. And then this greenery is such a good find from Amazon as well. It looks so authentic. 
I just really love this color scheme this year because it's so springy and it like mixes the Ramadan vibes with springtime and I just think it's so beautiful. If your candlesticks are crooked, you can melt the bottom and it will stick to the side of the candle holder, so that's a good tip. I went ahead and added lanterns with fairy lights to my bookshelves this year and I liked that I added the lanterns on top of a book that way I could hide the battery pack behind the book. It was just a really nice way to conceal that. The salam sign is such a beautiful touch to these shelves as well. I think it would also be beautiful on a console table in the entryway. Then I added these larger gold lanterns that I already had in my collection with some fairy lights inside, but this was the first thing Elena gravitated towards and she ripped those fairy lights out so fast, so they're just empty for now. Okay, I just finished decorating everything. I think it turned out so beautiful. My favorite thing this year are the shelves. I've never decorated those before, and I think it turned out so cute and just simple. We had to move the chair just so that I could like show pictures and stuff, but we usually have a chair right in front of the fireplace so that Elena doesn't dig in the rocks over there. So that'll be going back. I feel like a lot of this stuff, like especially the table, I'm gonna have to put it back obviously because this year Elena is walking around and she's basically into everything. So that's nice that I have kind of like, at least I have some shelf decor that she can't reach. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'm excited to continue vlogging and sharing the rest of our Ramadan with you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.